Introduction to Commvault Integration with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Across an organization, whether you store your application data on-premises, in data centers, or host applications on the Oracle Cloud, it is important to protect and manage your production data. Hi. I do see that moving data between my on-premises data center and the cloud involves multiple functional complexities. Is there a way to make it simple and get it done seamlessly? Sure. Commvault supports Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage or Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Archive Storage. Enabling customers to back up and recover enterprise workloads from any location to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, including Oracle Database, non-Oracle Database, servers run on virtual or bare metal machines, files stored on local, block, and object storage. The Commvault integration with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure enables the following use cases. Backing up the on-premises data to the cloud. Protecting and recovering applications based on user-defined policies. Using object storage or archive storage as a disaster recovery destination. Migrating workloads to, from, and within the cloud, as well as from cloud to cloud. That's interesting. Could you please explain how Commvault exactly works? Sure. Let's head to the ComCell console to see how the Commvault components come together. ComServe Ops Manager manages all data protection and recovery jobs. The ComServe server communicates with media agents, data manager, when the media subsystem requires management. Operations performed on clients are applicable to all the agents that are installed on that client. The media agent conducts the movement of data from source to destination, where the cloud library stores all the protected data. Great! Can you demonstrate how to configure Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage as a backup target on Commvault? Sure! To add storage target, log in to the admin console. To configure a cloud storage library, you need to add a cloud storage target. From the admin console, expand storage. Click storage targets, click add storage, and then select cloud. Next, you must configure the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure object storage. In the Add Cloud Storage dialog box, give your cloud storage a name. For type, you have the option of selecting Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage or Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Archive Storage from the drop-down list. Here we will select Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage. Enter the following access information. Media Agent the media agent that will be writing to the cloud storage. Server host. Please note that the access information for cloud storage devices vary for each server type, and your screen might be different from the one displayed here. Next, enter the subsequent Oracle Cloud Infrastructure details. Bucket. The storage bucket defined by that user in the cloud storage compartment. And then, click Create. You can view the details of the cloud storage you created. To add storage pool. Next, a storage pool needs to be defined that points to the new target. To set up a storage pool, click Storage Pools, click Add Storage Pool, and then select Disk or Cloud. The Create Storage Pool dialog box appears. Enter a name for the storage pool and click Use Existing Storage. Then, select the target just created and click Next. Enter the following to configure the deduplication details. Select the media agent where the deduplication database will be created. Type in or browse to the directory location for the database and click Add Partition. The partition will now appear in the partition list along with the media agent selected. 
Click Finish to complete the configuration of the storage pool. You can view the details of the storage policy you created. To add plan, Now we will create a new plan that will make use of the storage pool. Expand Configuration, then click Plans, followed by Create Plan, and select File System. The Create Plan wizard appears. Enter a name for the plan, and select the storage pool that was just created. Then click Save. You can see the properties of the newly created plan. This plan provides for a 4-hour RPO, which backs up all content from associated servers writing to the new cloud storage pool. To add server. We will now add a server to Commvault associated with this new plan. Expand Solutions, then expand File Servers, and select a file server type. Then click Add Server and select the desired file server type. Enter a host name for the server to install to, and enter the credentials for that server. The username must be that of an admin. For Unix or Linux environments, it can also be a user who has sudo access to root. Be sure to select the new file system plan that was just created. Then click Install to begin the installation. To backup, Once the installation is complete, an immediate backup can be triggered. The client can be quickly found by typing in part of the client name in the search box. Then click Backup against the client name to bring up the backup wizard. In the Backup options, select the desired backup level and click OK to begin the backup. Once the backup process starts, click the View Job Details link to monitor the job. The job can also be viewed by bringing up the active jobs from the Job Monitor view. To restore. To perform a restore operation, navigate back to the file server under Solutions. The client can be quickly found by typing in its name in the search box. Then click Restore against the client name to bring up the Restore wizard. From the Restore wizard, it is possible to browse protected data Select the desired files and click Restore to recover the selected files. You can monitor both the Restore and Backup jobs from the Active Jobs view. So that is how you can easily configure Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage or Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Archive Storage as a backup target on Commvault using the Admin Console. Great! Commvault is indeed an effective solution to migrate workloads to and from the cloud seamlessly. Thanks for the exhaustive overview. You're welcome. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.